Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, the holiday season is upon us, and so that means family gatherings and parties and things like that. And here's a great treat that you can make to take to those gatherings, and I think they'll really like them, and it's really easy to make. So let me show you how to make pecan pie bark. That's right. Where I live, we say pecan and not pecan. Anyway, it's the same nut. <laughs> Into a nice heavy saucepan, we're going to put two sticks of butter. And this butter is a little soft, it's been out. And then use the wrapper from the butter to coat the aluminum foil lined bake pan. I've also got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. But this is a great way to use that uh, paper that comes off of the butter. All right, we've got that. Now, uh, back to the saucepan. We want to get some heat going. A medium-low heat. And really, you know, this is up to you. You can uh, do the heat any way you want, but I'm going to take it nice and slow. To that, I've added one cup of light brown sugar. I'm in no hurry. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can turn that heat up and make things go faster. But we'll just spread this out. And while that's warming up, we're going to put some of the graham crackers and just line this pan with graham crackers. And you want to get it as tight as you can. And here's some chopped pecans. I'm going to measure out a cup and a half of chopped pecans. But it's not time for the pecans yet. We're still heating up the sugar and butter. And you just want to let it start to come up and get warm. And the goal here is to get the sugar to completely liquefy and combine with the butter. And you can see how this works. Speaking of this heavy saucepan, if you don't have one, you really need a heavy saucepan in your kitchen. And I want to encourage you to get one. And as I speak of that, let me also remind you that I am an Amazon affiliate now. And if you'll go to the description box below, you'll find my Amazon link. You just click on that Amazon link and it'll take you to Amazon and you can shop. And it knows that uh, you've come through my channel and so it's kind of like uh, they recognize and thank me for sending you as a customer to them. And so you can help my channel if I've helped you or if you enjoy this, just click on that Amazon link, go to Amazon and shop and get anything you want. You might look for a nice heavy saucepan. Anyway, I appreciate you using that if you think about it. It doesn't cost you anything. It just helps me, helps my channel. Well, as this comes up to temperature, we can see that the sugar is beginning to dissolve, but you can still see that butter is kind of running around on top, the liquid butter, and as it gets warmer, the butter will combine with the sugar. I hope you can see that. And when it does, I'm gonna go ahead and add the pecans. It's a cup and a half of chopped pecans, but you could put more, you could put two cups, it just depends, it's entirely up to you. And we'll bring this together and coat those pecans. Now that'll bring the temperature down, so we wanna let that come back up to temperature. We also wanna add one teaspoon of good vanilla. So put that good vanilla in, one teaspoon, and stir it and allow the entire uh, mixture to come back up to a simmer. And once it reaches that point, you can see even the color of it starts to change. It looks more of a caramel color. Once it comes up to temperature, uh, well then it's ready. It's ready to, to pour over uh, the uh, graham crackers. So just keep stirring it. Take your time. It's not hard. But be patient. Now I'm going to turn the heat off. It's ready to go. And simply pour it over the crackers. Just like that. It's so simple. And it's so good. If you've never made a special kind of dessert like this, you might try it. You'll surprise your, your family and your friends. Particularly, I like those who've not really been known to cook anything. When they try something like this and it comes out great and then they hear about it from their families, I really like hearing about that. Well, once it's all spread out, we want to put it in the oven. It's 350 degrees for 15 minutes or until it gets really bubbly on top. And once it starts to be bubbly, you can bring it out and set it uh, to cool. And you want to let it completely cool before you cut it up. So once it's completely cool, you can just cut it into squares, whatever size you like. 
it's still uh, kind of uh, gooey or sticky, but it's not wet any longer and it holds together. It's just right. It's kind of like a, a caramel candy texture. If you like that, you'll like these. If you like pecans, then all you have to do is lift it out, out of the pan. They come right out. Let me taste this. Oh yeah, that's good. And I'm going to put it on this plate for serving. Pecan pie bark. There you go. Doesn't that look good? It really is good. I hope you give this a try. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great Christmas. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.